What's up guys? Good morning. I have my daughter Tyla with me. She came down for the weekend. It's first thing in the morning. We're at DDHQ. Nick's here finishing the last three walls to be painted. But we need coffee and some English muffins. So why don't we jump over there and then we can tackle the whole thing about the ski box. You guys have been very polite to me. Most people have, there's no real hate, just the positioning. And look, I get it. The first position sucked. I have moved it back four inches further back. It's as far back as it's gonna go on the roof. The second position, which is really more over the engine bay, requires fabrication. So we'll dive into that as soon as we get back from some coffees and some English muffins from McDee's. Oh yeah, be right back. We need to grab some, some fuel. All right, little 94. You never know who you'll meet at Chevron. Right on. I don't know a ton about these cars, so obviously right hand drive because yep. they came from Japan. And then uh, all wheel drive or rear wheel drive? Rear wheel, rear wheel with this. Yeah. <laughs> this is the passenger side in these cars, guys. Look at that. Right hand drive. That's sweet, man. Yeah. It, my tires were so bald, like I couldn't drive in the rain. Files now. So I was thinking about getting an R34. Oh yeah. There's a couple in Ontario that I saw that were nice. There was a blue one and a black one with gold wheels. Nice. Yeah. So we'll see. You never know. <laughs> Thanks for saying <laughs> hi. I'll no see worries. you around, bro. Sounds good. Sick car. Thank you. And Dave and Oh, thanks, man. Really, really big fan. What's your name? Noah. Noah, man. literally have my dream car. Like, dude, nice to meet you. I gotta ask, what do you think of the ski box? People love okay, it or hate it. First, I don't care. My first instinct, when I first saw it, I was like, no, not into it. I moved it back. And so then in the first video, it was like, it was like up here. Yeah, I saw that, and, and I kind of thought if it was more centered a little bit, at yeah. least like kind of more in the back. back. Yeah. yeah it's awesome. Yeah, so to get it back where James has his, you have to fabricate stuff. So I'm gonna go down and talk to the guys and see what we can do, because I ultimately think that's the best look too. Literally everything I think about. Grind it out, man. I hate to run, I just got my yeah, kid no in worries. there, so. No worries, don't wanna keep you. No worries, have a good one. Coffee next, let's go coffee. McMuffins aren't that important, are they? Tyler, look at these poor palm trees. <laughs> they don't belong here, do they? No. I feel bad for them. Man, drive through is bumping today. Look at it. It's all caramel macchiato, sorry. Yeah, it's all caramel macchiato. Uh, venti quad shot latte with almond milk. Nice, venti quad shot latte. You wanted that with almond milk? Yes, please. Yeah, right there, Thanks, right. brother. Give me, I'll get rid of the garbage there if you want. All right. Thank, Thank you. Have a good day. Golden arches, Tyla. Golden arches. Hey, do you want to stop and hit the playhouse? No. Come on, you're a kid. Oh no, you're a teenager. I forgot. They grow up so fast. Hey, thanks, man. What you filming? What's that? What are you filming? I have a YouTube channel. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I vlog. That's cool. How many subscribers do you got? Uh, 155,000. Awesome. Yeah. Go. Thanks, dude. Have a, good have a good day. Thank, thank you. And we're good. This is always such a steep driveway to get out of, even with the lift up. Okay. Hang on to our egg McMuffins, dude. Here we go. Alright, this is going to make me sound like really tree hugger-ish, but I do love the fall when the trees change colors. Like, look how cool these trees look. Like yellow and red. Like, look at this one. That one tree, it starts out green, it turns yellow and goes red at the top. What? What are you laughing at? I appreciate Mother Nature, even though I'm slowly killing her with my supercharged V10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I put your coffee in the console. Why oh, you wedge that thing right in there, hey? Exactly. Yeah, we'll tear all that stuff down. Well, I'm gonna enjoy a coffee 
and uh, a couple of English muffins with Tyla. And then we're gonna talk about the ski box. We're gonna have, we'll have a little heart to heart, okay guys? Let's talk about this ski box situation. Now, you were pretty good in the comments. I understand people don't hate the ski box, they just really hate the position. And I'm with you, you gotta understand I'm on board with that. Position one was intended to be on the roof. Now, the first setup of position one that we did had had a sloped rake to it. It was the, the rear uh, mount here was too far forward and it just didn't look right. It is completely level now. We have it so that it's about four to five inches further over the engine in this position. Um, it looks significantly better, however not perfect, but this is as good as position one is gonna get. To do position two, we gotta fabricate. And so I'm gonna go this week and talk to a company about fabricating something that'll create like um, an arm that comes up and holds the bar up top so that it's right over the back of the car and so that the nose is like flush to the roof line. That's the goal, but it's gonna take a few weeks. And in the meantime, I wanted to still rock the ski box because now that it's not completely hideous, in my personal opinion, uh, it's usable. And a lot of people asked in the comments, why would you do this? It's simple, it's a cargo box. It's designed for cars to go on the roof to have more cargo space. That's it, in a nutshell. Not an aesthetically amazing thing to do to your car. However, there are ways to minimize the ugliness, so to speak, and I agree with most people that um, some people don't mind this position and like it, but I ultimately would like it over the back and it's gonna take a bit of time to get there. In the meantime, we're rocking it like this. So. This video isn't a vlog. This is a quick kind of walk around of the car and for me to open up the lines of communication with the audience as far as the build goes and to give you guys a voice in this because this is what this channel is really all about. Part of me is adding things to this car now because it's coming into fall. Well, it's in fall, we're going into winter. And this build is forever evolving. Daily Driven Exotics is a supercar adventure company that I designed so that it was to showcase supercars doing things that the average person wouldn't do. First of all, that's driving it a lot more than most people drive their supercars. Second thing is to do builds and to create a vehicle that can go places other supercars can't go. So now it's going into winter and we're gonna be doing, I'm a snowboarder, I wanna go snowboarding in this car. That's why we got the box. I gotta put snow tires, snow and mud tires on the car. I probably gotta lift the car back up about an inch because right now it's slammed. I also wanna do a few other things. You know, in the winter time, the daytime, the daylight's shorter and it's, so it's darker a lot more of the time. Also, you can go through fog and things of that nature when you're going up a mountain. So I'm thinking about fog lights. So I'm thinking about two versions of that, either a light bar, an LED light bar, like a four foot light bar across the top of the windshield or and or sticking yellow Pia fog lights into the front bumper down here somewhere, which I think would look pretty cool. What do you guys think? Leave comments. If you have other ideas, I want to I wanna know about them. I'm excited about this because I love, I love building cars. I love changing them. And so this car can be many things to the channel. We were thinking going even as wild, you know, Nick over here, we were talking like, hey, what are the things we could do? And he was saying, what about a bush bar? And I went and I Googled bush bar on Lamborghini to see if anybody had done it. And I found a render at least of someone who rendered a Lamborghini Veneo and it has a bush bar and Pia fog lights and, I, and a light bar across the top. And I was like, oh hell yeah, that's crazy. Some people would really hate it, but it would make it really unique and crazy and it'll stand out and it would make it more practical. So that is the point of all this. It's gotta serve some purpose. I'm not just doing this uh, to get attention. This is really gonna be used because the Lamborghini Huracan has literally very little space. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. Throw me a thumbs up on this video, please. The whole purpose of this video is, it's not a vlog. This is just us communicating. You let me know what your thoughts are around what we could do to the car for like winter. You know, what would be, what would help serve it to make it through winter in the craziest of climates. So until next time, take care, grab yourself a BOGO hat, two for one, dailydrivenexotics.com forward slash collections. Just put in BOGO as the promo code and I'll see all of your beautiful faces tomorrow. Peace.